Good morning, everyone, and happy May 4th. Wait, May 4th? That's, that's Star Wars Day. Well, would you look at that? Today's show just so happens to be about Star Wars. Anthony, can you tell us the latest news in the galaxy? New seafood restaurant Aloha Crab has recently announced its opening in Destiny. The restaurant will take the space of the old Ruby Tuesday. A special of free appetizer with any entree purchase will be running on the first two days of opening. The menu includes a variety of seafood including lobster, shrimp, scallops, clams, and mussels. Director of Marketing for Destiny said in a statement, We are ecstatic to announce the opening of Aloha Crab at Destiny USA near one of our busiest property entrances. It is the first seafood boil here at Destiny USA, and guests from all over the region have, been eager, have eagerly been anticipating its opening. A Central New York child rapist was found hiding under a bed at 17 Ted's Way after violating his parole. The man, Keith A. Hillard, 43-year-old, is being held in the Cortland County Jail. The state police used a helicopter, a drone, trained police dogs, and several more officers to locate him. He is listed as a level 3 sex offender. He raped a 13-year-old girl in Moravia in, in 2002. In 2016, he was accused of having sexual, sexual contact with a 15-year-old. And in 2017, he was accused of having a second-degree cr criminal sex act and was sentenced to three years in prison. Since released, he was sentenced to parole in which he violated. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. May is Mental Health Awareness Month and we want to work towards greater awareness about the importance of mental health and supporting those that are in need. Please grab a green ribbon or green bracelet in the lobby tomorrow morning from 8.30 to 9 or get one in the counseling center to show your support. Lastly, please wear green on the last day of each school week during the month of May. Your support is so greatly appreciated. Juniors, prom is right around the corner and we want you to know to visit, sorry, I'm sorry, we want you, we want to know what you want to listen to. Visit tjgjrequests.webnode.com or scan the QR code on screen now. Fill out the form completely and you have your song in the playlist. This form is only open until Wednesday, May 11th. Seniors, this is also open for ball as well. So the actual saying, May the Fourth Be With You, appeared about two years after the first original Star Wars movie, A New Hope, in 1979. The origins of the Star Wars Day didn't come, come to be until 2011, which was ce celebrated in Toronto at the Toronto Underground Cinema. Along with watching the movies, people played games, had a costume contest, made mashups and parodies of the original movies. Now, I don't like to go all out like that to celebrate the franchise, but I do love watching the original movies. I like to watch mo the movies as a celebration as well. My favorite one being the, re the Revenge of the Sith. The Revenge of the Sith is honestly the only good movie of the prequels. I can see why you stand at that point. The CGI was absolute crap. But this may be controversial. I'd rather watch the prequels over the originals any day. If any of you guys are interested in learning more about Star Wars, the trilogy started off as books, as did most movies. Through reading the books, you can definitely get more information and background about Star Wars. We're not even going to discuss the sequels, so let's move on to weather. With the introduction of Disney Plus in 2020, there have been a ton of Star Wars shows created and announced. By the end of May, 
expect an Obi-Wan show covering what's happened after, sorry, during Obi-Wan's life after The Revenge of the Sith and before New Hope. In the second season of Mandalorian, we were introduced to a live, a live action Ahsoka Tano who has only ever been seen in the animated shows like The Clone Wars. The air date hasn't been announced yet, but we should be seeing more information about a show all about her life that we will suspect to be before her appearance on The Mandalorian and after The Revenge of the Sith. Some other shows that have been announced are Andor, Rogue Squadron, a season three of The Mandalorian, and Lando. There's been a discussion of a possibility of a new movie trilogy, but if that's happening, we won't hear about it until a much later date. Anyways, in case no one knew, I am the Star Wars champion, according to my first place win in a Kahoot against my fifth grade teacher, and I've got a note to prove it. Okay, on to sports. Boys across team beat Syracuse City 11 to 6 to improve to an 8 and 3 record. Evan DeBurgess led the team with four goals. Trey Jones had three goals, and both Dylan Abreu and Eric Marker had two goals each. The girls across team beat Syracuse 15 to 11 last night. Mary Grace Godleski, Ryland Camiso, and Anna Padawano all led the team with three goals. Sarah Stark and Sophia Ferns both scored two goals. Sarah Stadelman and Maureen McKinley both had a goal. The baseball team won against Fulton yesterday 10 to 1. Carter Stewart pitched the full game and only gave up one run. And the baseball team will win again. In NFL news, the Arizona Cardinals wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins will be suspended for six games for violating the NFL's enhancing drug policy. And the unified basketball team has a game at home against FM at 4. Boys tennis has a match at CNS at 4.30. Boys and girls track have their senior night meet at home against Oswego at 5 and the girls' softball team plays at Central Square at 5. And I'm Qui-Gon Jin with your sports. Thank you so much, Qui-Gon. However you celebrate Star Wars Day, we hope you make the day, you hope you make the most of it. So from me, Emily, and everyone here at The Morning Show, may the 4th be with you.